What up subscribers, we're back with yet another video blog. For this 451st video, we're going to be doing something special for you guys. I'm going to be doing a Q&A with questions you guys sent in for me about my life. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Can you explain what you felt as a firefighter? Did you like your job? Um... Yes, I did enjoy my job at the time. I felt that I was living a happy life, like I was told. As a firefighter, I was fighting crime and burning the illegal works of mankind, and I saw no problem with what I was doing since I was just following orders and burning what I was told. Um, why would you burn books and limit the knowledge people have the right to gain? Like I said, I thought it was the right thing to do. BD and all us firemen followed the law and burned the illegal books. They showed the problems and missing parts of our life and minor differences in people. They create minorities and we must all be alike. Not everyone is born free and equal, like as the Constitution says, but everyone is made equal. Each man the image of every other, then all are happy. I didn't know any better than the man above me, Beatty. When did you start to change your mind about life? What caused you to all of a sudden question life? <sighs> It was when I met Clarice on the way home from work one day. She really opened my mind to everything. She asked questions that no one had ever asked before and had ideas that I'd never thought of. She helped me truly understand eventually that I wasn't happy. She had inspiration and hope like no one else ever had. She was more than my 17 year old neighbor. I connected with her and believed her. Why would you believe Clarice and fall for her beliefs even though they are opposite of what you believed in before? Uh, I think the main reason I listened to her and she impacted me so much is that I looked up to her. She was truly happy, yet she was the opposite compared to the rest of society. Society says they're happy, but it wasn't what Clarice felt. I wanted to feel the way she did and I, wanted to, I wasn't going to get anywhere burning books and being obedient. I wanted freedom and a life full of knowledge. Excuse me. Will you admit that you were blind, close-minded, and stupid to live the life you were living as a firefighter? Uh, yes, I was a moron, but when society raises you telling you you're happy doing what you're doing, and books are bad, then I never knew or had the chance to make my own decision. Luckily, I changed the I appreciated knowledge and regretted burning the books. I even started reading a few here and there and have kept a stash of them at home. Now, my main question is, why would you ever tell your wife about the books after she found the one under your pillow? Um, honestly, I don't know why I trusted her, but she was my wife, and after she found one of my books, I had guilt and too much to hide from her. She had to know. She was unhappy and it was obvious. I thought maybe the books could offer her happiness just like they do with Clarice. Do you regret telling her? Of course I regret telling her. If I wouldn't have ever told her, then maybe I would have had more time to collect books and spread knowledge to Faber. She and Beatty could still be alive if I wouldn't have told her. If the city wouldn't have been destroyed, do you think that it would be a possibility for you, Granger, and the older intellectuals to change the beliefs society has about books? Honestly, no, I don't think so. It wouldn't be possible because society is reluctant to change and they like to do what's easiest. Unless society realizes one day that to survive you must praise knowledge and the writings of our culture. Alright, that seems to be all the questions you guys had. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out my next vlog. I'll have it up in a couple of days.